Okay, so let's start off the day with this question. Uh, it says, the value for Kc for the reaction, two nitrogen dioxide goes to dinitrogen tetroxide is 1.52 at 319 Kelvin. What is the, ten what is the value of Kp at this temperature for this reaction? So, this is the reaction here that's given to us. Um, it gives us the Kc and the temperature of the reaction, and it wants us to find the Kp. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, or the best thing, is that you remember the Kp to Kc equation. If not, you're going to have a hard time doing this problem. So Kp to Kc, right, you're going to have to multiply it by RT times delta N. So, um, what are these things? Well, we've got T and we've got Kc. Remember, R is just going to be the R of the gas constant, 0 0.0821 liter ATM per mole Kelvin. Okay? But delta N, we get that from the reaction equation up here. Okay? So, delta N is going to be, so that's the change in the number of moles. So just like any change, it's going to be um, the final minus the, pardon me, the initial. So uh, the number of moles final, well, the total number of moles on this side of the reaction equation is just one, okay? So one mole of gas, right? So we're looking for moles of gas. How many moles of gas do we have on this side? Cool. Two, right? So two moles of gas. So what we're going to say is one mole minus two moles of gas. And that's going to equal negative one moles, okay? We're not going to use that unit in this, but um, it's good to know what we're looking at. Okay, so are we cool with this one? Okay, so I'm just going to put delta n equals negative one. Okay, so now we've got everything, so it's just really a plug and chug problem now. So, Kc 1.52 R 0 0.0821 liter ATM for one small Kelvin, like that. 319 Kelvin, and that's all to the negative one here. Okay, so go 0.0821, multiply that by 319, raise that to the negative one, and then multiply that by 1.52, and you should get an answer. Okay, so no units, that's your KP. Any questions on that one? No.